line up on the grid. The lights are going to be going out very, very shortly. The tensions are rising. The, the nerves do the lights for the only time this weekend. And it's a good start from the middle of the front row. Asman looks as if he's going to take the whole shot, but yeah. inside looking menacing. Now, Cruces down second. Harrison Voigt maintains third. And that's really, really unfortunate for the race. So really unfortunate there for that rider. But now up out the front, it's Asman who has the lead. Yeah, that's what you mean there, that match to never... Yes, he has, because Angel Pequeras was not lying down for that one. So Angel Pequeras is now up into fourth spot. Fulby getting some flashbacks back to last year and not good ones at that. So Rueda, second spot, just behind Asman and Pequeras trial breaks and pushing. Oh, Pequeras touches Voigt. They both go a little wide, but both staying on. That's the important thing. So Voigt already gone from sixth to first, carved his way through the pack. Now it's all down to Asman. It's all down to Voigt. They need to bike back at him. Right. It's so important now that Asman snaps straight back on him. He's got to get a good slipstream down onto this front straight. He's got good drive. He's right in his Asman, man, Yeah, Asman has done it. And Pequeras is now into the third spot, but Voigt's baiting back at Pequeras. Oh, look at ports him out. But Rueda snaps back at Asman, not quite late in the brakes. Khrushchev pushing Voigt out. Someone off in the background as well. He's chopping his head down to turn number five. He's got the inside line for the corner. But Farioli from third to move. first pushes Rueda out. He really is indeed. And Voigt's... <laughs> that's not going to help. Yeah, that's not going to help at all. Voigt is uh, clearly getting a little bit frustrated at Farioli. They'll think that. They'll think the Rueda's gone. I can catch him, follow me. But it's a, it's a tactic that never works because when you're following... And you Sorry, you, may, maybe that, that gap at the front. I don't know if it's just my eyes, but it looks a little bit smaller from Voigt. To make you think that they're going to be able to catch him. Though. Well, Farioli has has shown that he does have the speed to try and catch Rueda, but this is getting problem. fourth place. Pushes the Italian out wide, and he's now back into fifth place. Inside, Salvador, he's not shy of the move. He's not at all. He's, he's, once again, it's on his best mate, David Alonso. I'm just saying it's his best. Inside of Cruces doesn't make his isn't going to stay like this. Cruces wants his first podium. Harrison Voigt wants his first podium. David Alonso wants to return. For him. Harrison Voigt on the curbs, running out wide. A love of a moment there for the Australian. And Fabioli rides right the outside of the Australian. What of him? David Salvador leads this group from Alonso, from Cruces. And then it's Fabioli, Voigt, and Asman, who's been shuffled to the back. Right around the outside of Voigt. Any man could end up on the podium. Oh, that was a moment there between Farioli and Voigt. Voigt's far with the elbow to elbow coming down the home street a couple of laps ago. Yeah, like we say, elbow to elbow, bar to bar. It's the only race of the day for these guys. And they're more oh, and it's a massive oh. moment there. And, Al and Alonso goes down. Harrison Voigt, is he going to... Oh, he's going to... says, who's going to be... Who's leading this battle for second? Want to hit the wall. No, not at all. I mean, that was nice to see from Voigt. Just going off to check to see if Alonso was OK. A third podium of the year. Khrushchev is looking for his first ever podium. But up the inside, Asman, go for second. And then... Khrushchev. Fifth win of the season. Brilliant stuff from the 99. But who's going to take second? It's going to be Asman. Asman takes second ahead of Khrushchev. Plenty sure. of practice, hasn't it? Yeah, he's been a lot winning left, right, and centre so far this year, picking up his fifth win of the season. Uh, it's a big question that I don't think anyone has the answer for. Even after that race, yes, Jose Antonio Rueda had broken a sweat. 